What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and today we are focusing in on Town Hall 9 Hog Rider strategies. So following the October update we had the balance change that giant bombs no longer do 1.5 damage against Hog Riders. We did have the addition of the Bomb Tower, however at Town Hall 9 Hog Rider attacks are still very very powerful so we're going to go through not really a full blown guide here but just giving you a few strategies that you can use in order to pick up those three stars and honestly guys there's not much to it especially in these early stages you're gonna be coming across low level bomb towers people haven't upgraded them yet so as long as you get a few key things down in terms of setting up the attack you can then use hog riders to great effect and you will be laughing in terms of three stars and i'm gonna show you a few different methods you can use to do that now the first attack here is a go bow ho attack so we have golems and hog riders bowlers in the clan castle the golems are down distracting those defenses already whilst the wizards create a funnel and look at how effectively this balloon is used just to sneak across and take that mortar out whilst the expo and archer tower are being occupied so the bowlers come in along with wall breakers in order to break into that compartment a rage spell is used and this is basically the key things I was talking about before. The enemy Archer Queen was in this area so she's been taken out and the enemy Clan Castle have also been lured and that is now going down as well. So we've taken out a big chunk of the base here and a few key aspects. From there the Hog Riders can come in and just sweep across the entire back end of this base. Now the bowlers have managed to take out the entire core so the Hog Riders can sweep across all of the defences at the back and now that they don't have the 1.5 damage from giant bombs they have a much easier time in taking out all of them defences and I'm going to show you a few examples here in some of the raids where even a double giant bomb set isn't enough to take out the Hog Riders. You can see in this example the Hog Riders ran into two giant bombs not side by side they were on separate occasions but on each occasion they basically didn't do anything as long as we had that heal spell in the region we could pick them straight back up to full health without the defences doing too much damage. Now I don't know why there's a Tesla right in the corner here guess to waste time it would have been nice to have a few traps around there as well just to try and smash out the hog riders at the end of the raid but the defender doesn't have any we're gonna be able to take out this base for the three stars and as you saw a fairly straightforward raid it was basically taking out the enemy archer queen taking out the enemy clan castle and from there it was plain sailing really so moving on to this next attack we have a whole go wipe or a go ho wipe these were part of the original hybrid attacks tagging on back end balloons or hog riders onto a go wipe attack back when clan wars was first released so i do love to see these type of attacks every once in a while when i see them in the current game so diving into the attack you can see it's pretty much following the same principles here we're coming actually from the same position on this raid and we are taking out the enemy archer queen and the enemy clan castle troops now as long as you can get in and get them objectives down you can use pretty much any troops you want the previous attacker used bowlers this attacker used peckers remember now the peckers don't have double damage against teslas you could use valkyries just about anything to get in there take down the enemy arch queen and the clan castle troops get into that core and then you can see bringing the hog riders in from the opposite side again they're going to sweep across the back end of the base take out these defenses you can see a double giant bomb there did not take out the hog riders they move across to the remaining defenses into that heal spell and they're pumped right back up to full health they can then be used for the remainder of the raid so now that the teslas don't do double damage against peckers feel free to give them a shot I would encourage you to just have a bit play around with the troops see which ones work for yourself and which ones you feel comfortable with in terms of getting in and getting them objectives down if the base is quite compact and the buildings in that area are together the valkyries might be good to get in between the buildings and take them all out together if they're in a line and kind of lots of compartments the bowlers might be quite good as they can bounce that boulder over the wall and likewise the peckers can really do some high damage there if there's high hit point buildings. 
So there you have another straightforward 3 star at Town Hall 9 using the Hog Riders very effectively to take out the majority of the defences, just made sure to get them key objectives down first in terms of the Archer Queen and the enemy clan castle. Moving on to this wildfire of a base, everything is spread all over the place but we're not going to attack it much differently. We're actually coming at this one with the HGHB attack strategy, so healers, giants, hogs and bowlers. We're coming in from the east side of the base with the giants and healers and that is where the enemy archer queen is situated. You will have noticed the wizard and the baby dragon that we used at the start, just to snipe off them buildings, help with funneling a little bit but more so just force the troops towards the targets that we want to so they're not getting strung up on them buildings, they're going straight to that enemy archer queen and then luring the clan castle and getting them troops straight down without getting hung up on high hit point storages. So you'll see a couple of hog riders coming at the bottom here just to take out some of them defences as they're distracted by the rest of our troops but we're going to bring the bulk of them in to the top here next to the town hall. Now a bit of a spoiler alert but there are giant bombs in this area and I want you to focus on the hog riders, specifically the one on the left here that gets right the way down to next to no health, runs into the heal spell and then runs right over the middle of the double giant bomb set. He survives that entire thing because we had that area pre-healed. So as long as you have a heal spell over the double giant bomb set, it may not take out all of your hogs. Now it depends on the exact timing of when the giant bombs are actually detonated, but for the most part, as long as they don't go off at the exact same time, you can heal your hogs through a double giant bomb set. So I have watched replays where the two giant bombs have taken out all of their hogs. Obviously it depends on the level of the hog riders, the level of the giant bombs, the exact timing of when they go off. If the base is perfectly designed to trigger them both at the same time, then they may take out your hogs. But in general, if you can pre-heal that spot, a lot of times the giant bombs don't go off exactly together so you can heal your hogs through it and that is obviously a massive advantage when you're using the hog riders. I'm not saying it's a foolproof plan but it certainly does make strategies a lot easier that use the hog riders especially here at Town Hall 9 when you can really get in, get the enemy arch queen down, stage your attack a little bit and then wipe out the back end of the base with hog riders. So we're moving on to this last base, this is the one I was telling you about with Valkyries, it's straightforward go vaho attack so let's get into it. So again the main objective is the enemy archer queen and the enemy clan castle so you can see we're starting from this northeast side using the golems to distract and the wizards to create a funnel and ideally we're pushing our troops in towards that compartment where the arch queen is situated. Wall breakers open up the compartment and then our troops are free to come straight in and take out that queen. So you'll see the king and queen both lock onto her and it doesn't take long for her to go down. We then get the clan castle lure and a couple of poison spells can help slow them troops down as our troops take them out. And at this point, them objectives are down. We do have bowlers and valkyries walking around the side of the base but that's not always a bad thing and we can then start concentrating on the hog rider deployment. So we do still have our heroes in the middle taking out some of them buildings in the core. We then have a giant distracting whilst a few hog riders come in and we're basically going to snipe off these defences around the outside and the hog riders will then move in and converge together where we can then use the heal spell. And again just after they chew through this air defence take note because the giant bombs are going off some of the hog riders do go down but you'll see because of that heal spell we're able to save a good few of them they can take out that expo and also do a lot of work on the Teslas here as well. Whereas before with that 1.5 damage boost the giant bombs had against the hogs, that would have been a completely different story. So the Valkyries have continued to walk around the outside. Here come the bowlers as well. They've taken out all of them trash buildings around the side and the king and queen have done a fantastic job taking out the middle. At this point, we're pretty much on to clean up and the raid is gonna end in a three star battle. So that summarizes some of the attack strategies you may wish to use at Town Hall 9 implementing the Hog Riders because they are super powerful at the moment. Definitely need to still have some degree of technique setting up the attacks but as long as you take the enemy Archer Queen and the enemy Clan Castle troops out you will have a much easier time in achieving the 3 stars. 
I will try and break some of these strategies down and bring you full guides on them at some point, but that will wrap this video up. I've been your host, Judo Sloth. Make sure to subscribe for more Clash of Clans, and until next time, peace out, guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans. Thank you.